You know, I immediately saw this at 7.06 this morning. It's now 7.07. And I've seen that Jake Paul is trending on Twitter once again. And it says people are weighing in on Jake Paul's claims about his influence on the digital creator community. So I'm going to click that and check this out right now and see what is up. Yep, he tweeted this from 13 hours ago, which says, I created the first content house. Then there's 500 content houses. I start boxing. Now every influencer is a boxer. What's next? Y'all gonna get raided by the FBI on purpose? Did Jake Paul really create the first content house? I know that some fans have claimed otherwise. I don't know why Jake Paul thinks he is this smart, thinking that he created the first content house. When a certain content house was here before, I mean, judging by the picture I just showed, like a few minutes earlier, I think this happened to be the, the uh, first content house. A group of people that you probably know were in the first content house before Jake Paul claimed that he created the first content house. Alright, it was O2L. Confirmed by JC Kalen. Yeah, that checks it that checks out, really. And I think I remember old 2L when I first heard about it. But I didn't really watch any of the content. It was over YouTube though at the time. Before, today, before today's media companies took over the entire page of the entire homepage of where every creator was featured on there. Including the trending tab of the, of the YouTube of the YouTube trending tab page. I mean, come on, Jake Paul. Do you think you created the first content house? O2 was there longer before you officially created a content house. Yeah, JC Kalen tweeted all that. 2, aka Our Second Life, was the first content house. It's true. Sorry. And yeah, as I said, OL2 started in in like 2014, which is the first was the first time I heard about our second life. So technically, the content house that Jake Paul should recognize is OL2. I wonder why he doesn't. Hmm. I guess we know the truth, the real truth about Jake Paul. He continues to this day to think about it. not everyone but himself. He only he always continues to do that. I mean, what kind of person thinks about himself before anyone else?
We all do respect my guy, oh, I do have a first cut as we were kicking it and shooting every day in Sino before some of these cuts were even in LA. And if Jake Paul doesn't realize that by looking at the first content house history on the YouTube platform, then we all know why Jake Paul is a man who is pretty much out of the loop these days. I mean, technically though, he was a fine star, so he wouldn't know even though our second life was at the time everywhere on the platform every day every day I would see their videos never really watched all of them though but every day I would see their videos and I used to see them every day but they stopped since. I just can't believe Jake Paul would even say something so uneducated that he didn't even look at the history of YouTube deep enough. I'm sick of people like this. Why do you have a platform if if you're not going to think about others who did it first other than yourself? I mean, that's just rude, don't you think? Jake Paul, don't you think that's just rude that you are thinking about yourself before other people who actually did it first I mean seriously Team 10 wasn't the first content house at all and that house barely existed it only existed after Vine ended when Vine ended and when you left Disney Channel you went on full force to then take Team 10 seriously when you left Bizarre Park and after this stupid stunt you pulled when the KT, KTLA reporter was interviewing you The Team 10 house kind of uh, fallen apart. And now you barely make Team 10 content anymore. I don't know where all the numbers of the Team 10 house has gone, but like. You should have made a video saying that the Team 10 house is over. I mean, we're all, we are all waiting for you to say that. You should have made it. Because at the end of the day, your content house that you claimed that you created first, even though it's not true at all, have failed so miserably. I mean, you've been holding down a fort for a few more years. But then it continued to fail. I used to watch this little kid named Ben who was featuring your videos. And now he's not featured enough because you gave up so hard on Team 10. And that shows how much of a failure you are. I'm sorry, Jake, but it's true. You are a failure and you cannot ac acknowledge the people who created the first content house disappointing
Alright, so most of the content creators ratioed Jake Paul when he made that stupid tweet. Fake Sphinx tweeted eight years ago before half of these fools were even born and shows this house. Which I think was the first space content house. And then Mean Meal is treated jokingly, of course. I can't believe no one recognizes you for being the man who rented Moxie and the first man to live in a house. Disgraceful. I never tweeted, you pre you pretending the Simon house didn't exist before 1410. Flip the picture that says, I pretend I do not see it. Ty Parker tweeted, you are actually sad. My F, reset in the chat, boys. How looks treated ratioed. The Sidemen house was plenty around before Team 10. Try again. Mm -hmm. That's not a content house. Simon started when buying wasn't even a thing. Yeah, that is facts, actually. Have you heard of the face house, Jake Paul? He built a New York face house. What's next? Y'all gonna call, call Y'all, y'all gonna call yourselves Bob the Builder? The Station House in Venice, aka Maker Studios 1, had raised up 10 to 11 years ago. Cute tweet though. The Simon House was the first content house. Two, no YouTuber started Foxy because of you. It all started with the KSI vs. Joe Lowe fight. Yeah, that's facts, actually. It seems that Jake Paul is beginning to forget about everything because he's incapable of recognizing what happened first and has the, the memory of a guinea pig. Actually, the creature's house was an even earlier content house. Okay, so content houses in general were here earlier before Team 10, which happened to be the last content house that failed. The last content house that started and the first content house that failed. I mean, seriously, though. It goes to show, Jake Paul, if you don't recognize one of you first content houses that were here early before Team 10. I mean, come on. You are completely out of the loop. And you should start over from, <clears throat> from scratch. I mean, come on. I can scroll all day and find even more responses, but this pretty much says it all that you are completely complicit in what's going on in the world today. And that's because your ego got the best for you all these years. And if you don't fix your ego, Jake Paul, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Quit being out of the loop for once. And actually pay attention instead of thinking about yourself. <laughs>